Welcome back. In this one, I'm gonna show you a few little tips on how to improve your chances at winning frames, or finishing off frames, or keeping yourself in frames. Hope you enjoy, here we go. So in this situation, we've broken the balls. Yellows and reds aren't too bad. Obviously yellows are looking good here. We have a yellow and a red in the middle, it's dodgy. How can we pretty much try and open up the frame here straight away? That's what we're looking for when we're, when we're trying to uh, finish the frame in one, in one visit. So I'm looking around the table here. If I go reds, I could possibly cut that red in. I may nick that and open up these balls, but I don't know where the white's, white's gonna go. Um, I have some dodgy reds here. But this red does go, but I have to land nicely on this one to roll that one in for the red in the there. Um, and then I can play this one down the rail, but this red does just go off the black, but you have to be, you have to be spot on here. And I don't like the transition from, from here um, to this ball. I think that can be quite, quite dodgy. So um, you, can, you can sort of play this one and come around if you need to, but you're landing on a five set piece here. So it's, it is quite hard. And the key for reds is actually landing on this ball to be able to land on this ball. So I like yellows in this situation. Straight away, you can mop up this half of the table if you wanted to, um, but I'm gonna leave them there because we have an opportunity to actually roll or stun this yellow in and leave a nice angle here to do a soft stun into this red and open up these balls. And we should be able to land on either this ball, this ball, or have an option for one of these as well. So straight away. I find that angle. Soft stun. Like that. And then now the game's at my mercy. So straight away, I've potted one ball, second ball, and opened up my dead balls. And I have three, four, five, five balls to then land on the black. So straight away after the break, always try and find the hard ones, get them out of the way, and give you the best chance at winning that frame. If you leave them to the end, if things go wrong, we're well, gonna be in trouble. So here's another situation here. We're potting out. We have a dilemma, we take this yellow or this yellow or this yellow to land on the black. Now, we take this yellow, so we can say pop this ball, pop this ball, and then we can leave angle to then stun across the table this way. But the issue here is, if I don't stun it correctly, I can end up here, here, or I can end up over here, or I can get into it too much and hit this red, which I don't wanna do. Uh, and then it all becomes uh, basically on me with pressure, with my backswing. If I, if I don't do it right, then things are gonna go wrong. Same with, same with this shot. A lot of people might say, pop this one, pop this one, pop this, and then wanna screw up the table and try and pick the gap in here. Nothing wrong with that, except again, you're playing another shot that requires um, it basically all on yourself. All right, if, if things, things can go wrong under pressure and playing a shot and staying up the table like this can, um, it basically can, can, can put you in trouble if, if you don't hit it right. You may hit the cushion here and go into the reds. You may hit it too thick, snooky yourself. You may end up landing here, which might seem fine, but that shot from here to here can be missed. So we really wanna be nicely on the black ball. So, that's where I think taking this ball, so pop that one, pop that one, taking this one, coming off the rail, and coming down and landing, landing here. And all you have to do is judge, judge the pace. Hit this about quarter ball, one o'clock. So now we're just judging the pace. that I know straight away the moment I've hit it we've landed on the black
and this shot is much easier than playing it. Than playing a shot from down here. It may look, it may look okay, but it can be missed. So landing here is much, much better. In this situation, we're on reds, your opponent's missed the black ball. Now we need to work out, are we gonna have a dip or whether we're gonna play safe? Now, straight away, we have a nice extraction ball here to go off the cushion and into them. Another one here to go into them. And we've got two balls down here. So if we have a go at trying to win the frame, I think the chances are pretty good right here. If we play a snooker, well, let's just say we leave the white down here and play a snooker. How can he get out of that? He can come off the rail here, here, and then head up the table and knock the black in. So that's an option. Or he can come off the rail here from there with bottom and make it arc into the black. All right, another low percentage shot, but it's a shot that you probably don't want to give most people. Or if the white ball is somewhere down here, you can actually play off the cushion here with a bit of side and head up there. So there is quite a big target here. Now, to me, I'm looking at this going, I don't really like the snooker here. If the black, now here's the thing, if the black was out a little bit like this, let's say there, then yes, you can snooker because they have to be now dead accurate to knock that black in. All right, so if they're a little bit over here, it's no good. If they're a little bit on this side, it's no good. So laying a snooker now is actually not a bad thing if you wanted to, because they may hit the black, they may move the black the same over here, and now you can do whatever you want. So because the black is really over the pocket here like this, all right, I'm actually gonna have a, have a go here because that target from here to here is quite a big target from over here. If there was a red ball, say here, and another one, say here, then yes, they can't come across, but they can still come along this way and go up there, so I don't like it. The other thing is, these gaps are quite big to get through to the black, all right? If, if this red was over here like this, and this one was here like this, then obviously now, Whatever you do down here, he's going to have to get very lucky, he or she's going to have to get very lucky to get through those gaps, all right? So right now, we're like this. I, my very first shot is going to be not this one and this one to mop up these. I'm actually going to leave these and go straight into uh, this ball. Pop this ball, come up the cushion and hit here. The reason why is if the white gets stuck down here, I have this one as a backup, all right? And this one can be harder to actually get on later from these balls. Yes, I have a big area down here, but from this ball, anywhere down here, I can always knock this one in. So let's attack it straight away. So I've attacked it. I've actually got really lucky because I did actually hit the uh, hit the black. And you can see that I still actually probably a little bit unlucky to hit one of those reds and leave that red there. So you can see I've actually now still got that to deal with. So. What we were saying before, how we have a, this ball, we can go into this, this pack, or we got this ball to go into this pack. So we actually had two chances. So the odds are in our favor. So now, if I wanted to get a nice angle on this ball to come off the cushion again and have another go, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that quite quickly. I don't wanna plot all these balls and then try and land on this. And then the problem there is, when I hit this one out, I have to land on it. So I wanna hit this one out, and then still have options. So I'm gonna try and get on this one straight away. Put it off this one. 
So now I've got the angle and I've got two balls to land on if it goes wrong. Landed a treat. Now, if it didn't and landed, say, here or landed over here, and more importantly, it's about the white ball. The white ball landed in a nice position where I can actually knock this one in if I have to, or I can knock this one in if I have to. So, it was all about also controlling the white ball, and if it got stuck here, like what we said before, I have options of this ball and this ball, regardless of where this one landed. But this one's landed a treat. So now we get to finish off the frame. And you don't have to, you don't have to get up here because obviously the black's over the pocket. Alright? So there's there's a couple of tips. You can see how We've opted to go the out here, and because I think percentage wise, because we had those balls up there and these balls down here, we were lucky enough that if it went wrong, there's a chance that we could still have another crack at it, and another crack we did. So sometimes it's not all about perfect pull. This is this is real life, these things happen, so and it happens to everyone. Alright, so I hope you like these couple of little tips. Um, and as always, like subscribe and share if you care. See you on the next one. Thank you.